Thicker than your average Pop a twist, cabbage off eggs The hot niggas don't pop a shit Stink big gators My Detroit players Tim's for my hooligans in Brooklyn Alright guys, today is the day so, uh, throughout the years, I've tasted so many different fruits, but this one has eluded me. Um, maybe not because I wasn't, maybe mostly because I just wasn't trying to taste it, but, um, we're going to see how it, how it goes today. I've never, uh, I mean, I've just seen reviews of this. This is durian. So, um, I've seen reviews and people trying it and people puking or almost puking when they try it, but, um, just recently I saw a fellow YouTuber, Life in Florida, Ari. She tried it and I, it's the same brand and everything. She's in Florida, I'm here in Virginia. And I just wanted to go ahead and give it a try for myself. She had an okay, I guess a good experience with it. She said she might even buy another bin of these things. So this, when I bought it, it was $16.99 here locally. Uh, over there in Florida, for some reason it was a little bit more. It was 18 I think, for her. But um, right now, <clears throat> uh, it is still a little bit, I think it's just about thawed out. And even in this little bin here, I'm, I think I'm kind of sm smelling it. Yeah, it has um, kind of a pungent smell. It's not bad. We'll see what happens when I open the lid. But let's go ahead and pop it open and see. Give it a taste. So this says um, thaw under refrigeration. So I guess you just didn't wouldn't want to like take it from the frozen section and just pop it open or leave it out. <clears throat> so here we go. So wow, that's pretty. That is a strong fragrance. So far, not um, not terrible. It just smells like. It's, um, I don't know how to describe it. And this is the problem when people eat this, is they can't figure out how to describe this, the taste or the smell. I'm picking it up. This is uh, thought out now. Um, it feels like I'm picking up dough, like um, like a bag of dough. Um, like if, say, you were about to cook a, um, like this is a roll, um, a dinner roll. <clears throat> and there's not... A lot of um, it's just really soft these are seedless they say so there's this is this is all going to be uh, flesh so we'll go ahead and pick this out the smell is unique it's not it's not um, it doesn't smell bad though it smells it just smells interesting so we're unwrapping it now it it does feel like I'm holding um, something like um, let me get some better lighting here. Now you probably can see me better or see this better. So now this um, now I, now that I've unwrapped it, it does have a little even stronger scent. How to describe it is really puzzling. Smells like, um, I'm not getting the dirty socks or feet smell or like maybe slightly like cheese sort of, but it's not, um, super like disagreeable the smell. So, okay, now I know, now that it's kind of coming out, it has kind of like a cheese and an onion kind of scent to it so let's get it on this plate here. actually since I have it up already I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> get a bricks reading on it if there's enough juice oh this is a uh, wow it's around 23 so it is gonna be pretty sweet so I'll put it down there it is right there Probably gonna go ahead and bring that all the way out to the. I might rinse it off and the plastic, and then put it in the garbage. So 
Now this is probably not going to be any any sort of comparison to fresh durian that's fruit that's fallen off the tree <clears throat> and properly ripened. These might have been ripened okay, but the texture is probably going to be totally different than eating a fresh one. So this is um it is kind of like um it's like like ricotta cheese or something or some kind of um it almost looks to me a little bit like a pastry or an Italian kind of cannoli or something. Let's go ahead and try it. I, I am getting that kind of oniony kind of anchees uh, scent here. We'll take a even closer look here. If I can get my So that's what we're looking at it. It's kind of like um, just a, I don't know, textureless almost, almost like mushy kind of thing. So let's go ahead and taste it. Here we go. Okay. The predominant flavor is onions and sweet um let me get another taste of it and it's not i'm not getting that pukey kind of feeling in the back of my throat if you just think you're kind of like eating cheese or something like that it's okay the second bite is better um It feels like I'm eating some sort of Italian kind of um, cheesy dish with that has a lot of onions in it. It doesn't, it's weird, it doesn't taste kind of like a fruit. It tastes like something that was prepared, prepared, um as sort of like a dish like something mixed together like flour and like onions and some garlic in there and a lot of like sugar and um i think that's the main ones is like onions and garlic with a lot of sugar in like a really dough or even like a like a pudding it's almost like a pudding yeah it's more like a pudding and this even there's little spots in there that look like they're little bits of onions so there's gonna have kind of like a skin to it you can kind of pull pull that away it's almost like not even there's hardly any fiber in it see look right here i don't know if it's because of the the freezing process but when you look at it like that, it is just creaming. And um, stringy a little bit when you pull it pull it up like this. It's like cheese, like kind of melting cheese. I don't, this is um, probably, like I said, not the best representation of this fruit. It's not bad at all, this brand, I guess. Maybe not that difficult to find. Um, right here. If you are in a city that has like an international grocery. It's not that difficult to find. I guess it's it's um, Eastland Food Corporation. Uh, Asian Best brand. So it is... Um, I'm not really blown away by it, like a lot of people, but like I said, this is uh, frozen and probably not the best representation of it, but sometimes in the, in the international groceries, you can get like the whole durian, but you never know how early that was picked. And I've heard mostly that those are kind of um, disappointing because they're just picked early and they don't, they're not right. But at least <clears throat> with this, I think they 
would probably tend to try to pick these fruit where they're just about ripe. So when they flash freeze them, they're capturing more of the the taste. So um, this almost seems like it would be like an ingredient to, or a topping or, or something on, for something. Um, so I'm not totally blown away with it, but I'm not disgusted by it like a lot of people are. Maybe I got lucky and didn't get like one that tasted like a sewer or garbage or socks, wet socks or body odor. Um, this, as I mentioned, uh, I'm getting hints of onion, cheese, garlic, um, a lot of sugar and just a creaminess like if as if it was like kind of a cheesy custard. We'll try it one more time. Big ol' scoop here. So I'll be able to eat this all. Um, I don't know if I'd want to buy more of this. The price isn't um, terrible. If you get this on online, there's some places that ship them all the way from Asia for like, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks. Um, or Miami fruit, they they charge like a hundred bucks. And there's different varieties, so at least you could pick the variety you're tasting. I'm not, don't think I'm gonna be a real uh, aficionado for durian, um, but at least I've tried it. And you know, maybe it's worth, if you guys are near an in international grocery, it might be worth to try to sample these. Um, but I guess that's my review. I'm not disappointed so much, but I'm not impressed. Um, I would sample it again with a friend to see what they would taste, see what the flavor tastes like. But I don't know if I'd be buying this again. Maybe if it's another brand that someone recommended, but there sure isn't a whole lot of uh, choices. There was this brand and another brand in, in the um, grocery, but um, I felt like this brand looked a little more, um, looked better. So I went with it. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, sort of hard to describe this fruit. It doesn't even feel like you're eating a fruit when you eat this. Um, often it it puzzles people when they're trying it. And it did a little bit to me, but um, I had some background information. I mean, like just kind of watching videos and stuff. So I kind of knew what to expect. Um, and luckily this, this doesn't taste or it smell uh, really terrible. Just it has a really strong pungent scent with the onions and uh, garlicky and cheesy kind of flavor, like I said. So, all right, guys, thank you for joining me. I will uh, see you next time. Take care. Uh -huh. Can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me And I just love your flashy ways up Guess that's why they're broken, you're so uh -huh. big Biggie, biggie, biggie uh -huh. Can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me And I just